Hello everybody, it's me, it's Rosa, and I am back. And today we are gonna be doing a shopping haul video. And I have, let's see, um, I have stuff from Goodwill, I have some from Marshalls, and one thing from Hobby Lobby. So yeah, so anyway guys, that's pretty much what we're gonna be doing today. And I'm gonna go over some stuff. And I have like a huge pile of stuff, if only if you guys could see what I have. It's a huge pile of stuff. So anyway, also guys, I want to say thank you so much to my lovely subscribers. I really do appreciate you guys doing that and everything. So seriously guys, hit the like button, subscribe, and comment down below what you guys love to shop at Goodwill. So anyway, it really does help the channel. Just you guys even watching it really does help me out. So thank you guys. So I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you guys. So anyway guys, let's see if we can get started with this video, okay? Okay, so I'm gonna go over with, um, Goodwill since it's just a huge pile and then I'll go over some other stuff and there are some receipts I just I don't have, I can't exactly remember everything but yeah but anyway so we're gonna start with these shorts here I have I got these shorts at Goodwill for $2.99 and it's like these uh they're like these running shorts and yeah I got them at Goodwill so there's that and then I also got um this uh, this shirt for my long sleeve, this long sleeve shirt, it's a 5T for my son at Goodwill for $2.49. So there's that. And then the other thing that I got at Goodwill is this, um, these shorts also for $2.49 at Goodwill. These little girl shorts, which I think they're not bad looking. So yeah, so there's that. And for those two shorts, they cost me $8.48 in total. So, yeah, pretty sure that was what it is. So, there's that. And then the other thing that I got at Goodwill was this uh, Tupperware thing, this container. that's We use these for, like, my son's uh, to put his snacks in. So, I definitely have, like, a bunch now. I think I'm pretty good. So, I actually got two of these at Goodwill. A green and a blue. And they were $0.99 cents each. So, yeah, I was pretty happy with myself. So, yeah, I love these things, guys. They have, like, a little... These, let me show you. They have, like, a little dividers in them. They have, like, little dividers in them. So, we put, like, some snacks in each one. We put, like, maybe, let's say we have pretzels and let's say, like, little double bites. So, then this will be, like, an AM snack. And then this one can be a PM snack. So, and it will have... We'll put like his name on the lid and everything. So that way he can just take him to daycare and he, it's easy for him to pop him open and just have a snack. So yeah, so there's that. So I got two of these, they were 99 cents each. So that's not a bad deal, I do like that. And then the other thing that I got from Goodwill was this um, hummingbird feeder, which is really nice. It's like a different one, it's like a flat one. It looks kind of really brand new. It's barely used as you can see, so. Yeah, so I got this hummingbird feeder. So yeah, definitely like that. And this cost, yeah, $2.49 that cost me. And then the other thing that I got was this, um, uh, this um, what is these little window things? This autocollant gel stickers things for your window. And I got it for 99 cents and it's a Christmas one. So definitely looking forward to doing this with my son this year for Christmas and putting them on the window. So he's gonna love that. So there's that Christmas thing. And then the other thing that I got at Goodwill was Cucumber Melon, this fra fine fragrance mist from Bath & Body Works. And as you can see, it is barely used and it cost me $5.49. So yeah, that was not, not a bad buy. And I'm gonna read you guys the fragrance notes. And it's crisp cucumber, watery honeydew, summer cantaloupe, sparkling grapefruit, and sherwoods. And I do like the scent. I did use it earlier. I did use up a fine fragrance mist before, so this will be the second one, which I'm okay with. I did get tired of the scent, but now that I'm smelling it again, I have to admit, it's a fresh, crisp, clean kind of scent, like when you just got out of the shower, basically. That's the kind of scent that it reminds me of, basically, for a cucumber melon. So, yeah, definitely got this at Goodwill. So, there's that from Bath & Body Works. And then the other thing that I got was this, uh, I think this is like a fruit container. This fruit container, I think you put like berries or any kind of fruit in it. And then I think the way it works is you put your fruit in it and then you just like, you wash them and everything and you put them in there and then once the water will drip on the side and then that way the water will drip and then it'll just go at the bottom and then the fruit won't get moldy or kind of gross or smushy. So yeah, so I got that for $1.49 at Goodwill. So definitely, um, we'll see if my husband 
what my husband thinks of that. <laughs> I don't even know if it's going to close, but yeah. So I got that at Goodwill. And then the other thing that I got at Goodwill was this, another one. It's called the Produce Keeper. It says it's perfect for storing greens, fruits, and veggies. And it's, it has a ventilator. And it's practically, practically like spanking brand new, guys. Like literally, look at this. And I got it for $3.49. So yeah, it's one of those things you can put your veggies or your like fruit and stuff. And yeah, so I'm really excited to try this out. So I got this for $3.49 at Goodwill. So I got a bigger version of this. <laughs> So, and then the other thing, I think one of the last things that I got at Goodwill was this, um, oh, this really cool vase. I don't know. Look at it. It's really cool. And it cost me $17.49 at Goodwill. And look at it inside. It's like hand blown or something. And it says it came from uh, Made in Japan. I'll show you guys this. I honestly, guys, I don't know how to find out how valuable this thing is. But yeah, if you guys like know, please comment down below because I'm trying to figure it out. This lady at Goodwill was telling me, they're like, yeah, it could be. She's trying to figure out if it had any value to it. So yeah, so just let me know, guys. If not, like, I'll see if I can try to figure it out. But if not, it's okay. But yeah, so this is from Japan. It looks like it's handmade blown. So I just need a little cleaning and stuff. But yeah. This weird looking kind of glass, but I absolutely love it. And um, let's see, what else did I get from Goodwill? Oh, I think that was pretty much it. That's pretty much all I got from Goodwill, guys. I got quite a bit, but like I said, I don't do this all in one Saturday. I just kind of then throughout the whole week or several weekends, and then I just kind of pile it up. So anyway, we're going to move on now to Hobby Lobby. And the thing that I got from Hobby Lobby, which I still got to do with my son here. Oh, I keep forgetting. Um, we got this uh, this Artcraft Turkey Door Hanger Kit for Thanksgiving. And I think this would be fun to do with him. So that cost me $2.99. But, yeah, it cost me $2.99. So I'm definitely really happy to get this for my son. But I think it was on clearance for like 40% off. So then maybe like a dollar something. So, yeah. So there's that from Hobby Lobby. And now we're going to move on to Marshalls. So let's see. What do we got? Oh, Marshalls. So I got quite a bit of stuff for my dog and a lot of clothes for my husband because apparently he needed sweats and some running stuff. So, yeah. So, anyway, so let's go with my husband's stuff first and then we'll go over with the dog stuff. So, for my husband, I got him these shorts from Marshalls and they were uh, $8, originally 10 but yeah, there was these shorts I got from Marshalls, these running shorts for him. And so he's definitely really happy with them, he said. He did try them on, so he's happy that he did. And so these are the ones he's going to keep. And then I also got him these other shorts that were $12. That was on clearance from Adidas. The Adidas. So there's these um, red shorts from Adidas that he liked. Because he likes shorts as long as he they have pockets in them. He likes them with pockets. I don't know why. I think because he has a phone. Because... He has to have his phone on him and it has to be in his pocket when he's running. So, yeah. So that's why he's obsessed with shorts with pockets or even sweatpants with pockets. And then there's these other shorts that cost me $10 at Marshalls. And there was these. And this brand is um, Asics. Yeah, it's Asics. So there's that. These little green shorts with a zipper on the side and the pocket. And then these other shorts, these are by RBX Activewear. I don't know about these shorts or anything, but they cost me $6. So he's definitely excited to try these out for uh, the summer. So he's definitely happy that he has these now. So there's that, those shorts. And then the last thing I got my husband was, were these sweats and they cost $12. They were originally 15 bucks by Jockey. So yeah, so there's these, sweats and of course they have a drawstring and they have pockets on the side so yeah so there's those sweatpants that i got my husband from marshall's i did get him two other sweatpants but he didn't like them so we returned them already and i also got him some like two other shorts athletic shorts but he didn't like those either so we so i already returned those already but yeah that was the other thing that i got him like two four other things but we returned them so anyway, now I'm gonna go on to the next bag. And this bag is basically for my dog. 
yeah, everything in here is basically for my dog. <laughs> so one of the treats I got, her, I got her were these uh, treats were called the Puzzle Bites, training treats for dogs, apple bacon flavor, but I'm just gonna give her like a little handful because she's such a big dog. She's an Alaskan Malamute, so yeah. So there's these treats I got her and they cost me $5.50 from Marshall. So there's that. Then, oh, I also got another bag of treats. They were the puzzle treats again, apple bacon flavor. Cost me $5.50 again. And then the next thing that I got her were these uh, Bokey's Bakery Birthday Cake Dog Treats. They're peanut butter, carb, and vanilla recipe. And these cost me $3.50. So there's these little birthday treats. And then I got her one, two, three. So in total, I got her uh, four of those treats in total. <laughs> And they each cost me three fifty dollars each, all of them, three fifty dollars each. So I got her four of these in total, the birthday treats. And then the other treats that I got her were these, um, uh, this real yogurt and coconut. And these were, these cost me $6 by the food, Foodables Yogis for Dogs. And um, it says that, uh, it says delicious yogurt-based dog treats. So I got her that. So she's definitely gonna love it. And the coconut flavor. Then the last treat that I got my dog, that I got her were um, these Paws and Company Pet Treats. And it says only natural ingredients, no wheat, corn, or soy for dogs of all sizes. And these are called the Elk Antler Dog Biscuits. So yeah, it says healthy, happy dogs. And these cost me $8 and they are, oh, Peanut butter flavor, okay, the peanut butter flavor. So, and they were made in the USA, so yeah. So I got those for her, and I'm sure she's gonna be thrilled when she gets those treats. <laughs> and then the last two things that I got for my dog, for little Miss Suka, were these these Jack and Pop Bark Buddies Multi-Buddy. It says four-in-one multivitamins for dogs, which she definitely could use. So there's that, and it has, uh, it's for skin and coat, vitamins and minerals, probiotics, and joint support. And this was made in the USA. So yeah, and this cost me $8. So I got her one, and then I got her the, another one. So this both, both of these cost me $8. The Bark and uh, Bark Pot Buddy um, Multivitamins for Dogs. And the flavor, I don't even know what the flavor is for her. Honestly, I personally do not care what the flavor is, and I don't think she's gonna care to tell you the truth. But yeah, so yeah, so I got her two of these for her. So yeah, and guys, that pretty much wraps up my whole shopping haul from Goodwill, Marshalls, and Hobby Lobby. So guys, thank you again for um, sticking with me throughout this whole video, and um, yeah, thank you guys, and God bless you guys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.